स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति हरिषडवर्गजे तारम नित्यानंद गुरुम बजे स्वभावचिन्मयानंद समझ प्लीज टेल अबाउट टेल अस अबाउट मोर अबाउट गृहस्थ ऑर्डर ऑफ आवर ट्रेडिशन वी आर ऑलरेडी आनंद समाज इज हाउ टू गाइड आवर सेल्फ टू बिकम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ लिविंग गृहस्थस अंडरस्टैंड when i say grihasthas i mean few things one both of you decide very clearly to fulfill the each other's personality male usually will be in based on the muladhara the female will be based on swadhishthana both of you can very clearly decide consciously that we will fulfill each other usually when you know other person's weakness you use that to exploit the other person constantly male is trying to give insecurity to her so that she will be under the control and she knows where to say no and she is playing her game and you are playing your game first thing deciding both of us will fulfill the other person we will dedicate our life for fulfilling the other person means like both of us will achieve the same goal the ultimate truth by helping the other person putting enlightenment as the first priority in the relationship then suddenly you will see the whole quality of relationship will change the purpose of living together will become clear why the life of togetherness will be cleared from morning till night every action will show the compassion and love for the other person it's not that you will be showing you are compassionate or you will be just bragging around you see how compassionate i am no that is what now we are doing <laughs> when we just wanted to tell them that we are compassionate but doesn't want to be compassionate you will be constantly doing just a cup of coffee if you give that salt either he has to acknowledge or you will demand you will just take the acknowledgement out of his mouth along with the coffee which he drank <laughs> it has to come out and clarity putting enlightenment as the first priority second deciding very clearly consciously both of us will fulfill each other that is the purpose that is the purpose i always tell this two is the quality of grihasthas according to the vedic tradition or according to the nityananda tradition whatever you call it so usually i tell them maybe fix one day and take a oath from today we will start that is what we call marriage ceremony marriage ceremony is nothing but every year hundreds of couples get again married of course same couples <laughs> in india we do the ceremony initiation into grihastha ashram we call that as initiation into grihastha ashram all the seven vows sabdapadi you decide there is beautiful seven vows in our vedic tradition we will um, create wealth and enjoy together and we will share our all our responsibilities together It means the taking care of our elders not that if your parents come you take them around if my parents come i'll take them around no both of us decide both of you decide that we share our responsibilities our joys and everything together so there is a sabdapadi usually people take the vow deciding that we will live a grihastha life same thing you don't have to wait or do on particular day you can take even today both of you sit in front of the shrine or in front of the deities or in front of your home where your puja room decide from today both of us consciously decide we will share our life and we will drop the old accumulated ideas about each other and share physical mental spiritual needs and practices and one more important thing no divorce that is the important thing in vedic tradition vedic marriage you decide till both of us are alive 
we will live together and help each other only if someone takes sannyas in the latter part of life separation can happen otherwise no if you bring these understandings you are the ideal grihastha living the ideal spiritual life